Hello, my name is Tim Weatherspoon, and I'm a lecturer from the Faculty of Science. And I'm here today to tell you about some of the details of our program and some of the exciting opportunities that we have to offer. The first thing you, may want to wonder, you might wonder is why should you choose the HKU Science? Well, we're happy to report that HKU is a top-ranking university. We are ranked number two in Asia by the QS and number four in Asia by the Times Higher Ed. Uh, worldwide, in those rankings, we are 25 and 35, respectively. Our students at HKU, they have a high degree of employability. Most of our students will get a job directly after graduation. The QS ranks us number nine in the world in this way. We also have very international faculty. Over 40% of the faculty staff are from overseas. We are ranked in the Times Higher Ed as the number one most uni international university in the world. We have top-notch scientists in the Faculty of Science. 16% of the professoriate staff in the faculty are amongst the world's top 1% of scholars, which leads to an incredible number of international collaborations. Our faculty comprises six departments for teaching, chemistry, biological sciences, mathematics, earth sciences, physics, and statistics and actuarial science. We want our students to have a very global experience. We're committed to all of our students having some sort of overseas experience by 2022. This may include uh, exchange study or a summer research fellowship overseas or a field trip or summer course at the very least, some conference experience overseas. Let me take a quick glance at some of the undergraduate programs. Uh, we have several, but probably this video focuses on the Bachelor of Science 6901 program. The, are some important features. I think the most important feature of this program is its flexibility. When you apply for 6901, you do not apply for any specific major. And in fact, we do not have any quota on any science major. So after joining Faculty of Science, you will have some time before you have to choose which major you have. And this offers you flexibility. Maybe you are not sure exactly which major you want, or maybe after you come, you will change your mind. Also, we are happy to say that many of our students take a minor, or two minors, or a second major, and they might do that in the science faculty, or actually in any other faculty on campus. So we're really proud of the flexibility that we have to offer in this 6901. We're offering 14 majors and six intensive majors. The intensive majors ask you to take some extra courses to better prepare you for graduate study. The structure of the program is uh, as follows. Every major in science will have 96 credits, including the science foundation courses, the disciplinary courses within that major, and a capstone course. Every student at HKU will take 54 credits of what we call university education. This includes some language courses and the six common core courses that every HKU student will take. With the remaining space uh, before graduation, you can take a second major, or you can take a minor, or you can take elective classes. You have a great degree of flexibility there. You can take whatever is interesting to you. We're proud of diverse learning experiences we offer. Many of our students go for international exchange. Between 2018 and 2019, 137 of our students traveled abroad for international exchange. They go to outstanding universities like John Hopkins or Stanford or Columbia or Cambridge or Oxford. We also try and provide undergraduate research experiences for students. We have two major programs for this. Uh, one is called the Summer Research Fellowship. In this program, you will do research with a member of our faculty here at HKU, and the Overseas Research Fellowship, which would offer you the opportunity to travel to a university overseas and do a short research project over the summer. I always like to add that this is a paid experience. 
that uh, you get some money to cover your plane ticket and your living experiences when you're living overseas. Mini majors involve courses that will have field trip, not only around uh, Hong Kong, but also in other countries such as Australia and Kenya or USA. Many of our students also will do an internship. 315 internship opportunities were offered in the last year. These opportunities will help prepare students for a future career. Also, I would like to talk briefly about the Young Scientist Scheme, or YSS. This is a special scheme for outstanding students applying for the Faculty of Science, and I don't want to take too much time in this video. If you would like to know more, you may refer to the student sharing video of a YSS student. In very brief, we're offering these eight opportunities to students who are granted with this. Probably the one that draws your attention the most is the entrance scholarship. But uh, I would like to point out that these eight items are designed to equip a student for graduate study or postgraduate study. They are also guaranteed to go on exchange and they go to these very top-notch places. So if you are a JUPIS student and you receive a score of 35 or higher, you are automatically accepted to YSS. There's no interview necessary. If you are a non-JUPIS student, those cases are taken on a case-by-case -case basis. Finally, I would like to talk about career prospects and further study options. Our students, uh, after graduation, will often go on for postgraduate study, not only in sciences, but often in other disciplines. Here is a short list of the places they would go. I like to point out Illinois, because that is where I was a graduate student. Our students, they go on to get jobs in a variety of fields, both in science-related industries, but in other industries as well, such as finance, management, or civil service. We have around 100% of our students gaining employment after graduation when we include those who go on to further study. We are again ranked number nine in the world for employability of our graduates. So next I'd like to share some special features of the 6901 program. So one thing is we are offering specialization in intensive programs for these uh, majors here, chemistry, ecology and biodiversity, geology, mathematics, biotechnology, and physics. These intensive majors offer you to get increased specialization to better prepare you for postgraduate study after graduation. And they are individually accredited by other international bodies, such as the Royal Society of Chemistry, and the Royal Society of Biology and the Geological Society. We also have some seamless articulation pathways to some postgraduate programs in Hong Kong and overseas. Recently, we added a new minor in science entrepreneurship. We're hoping that this minor will equip students to exchange their knowledge in the business sector. Let me tell you some more about the intensive majors. So, as I mentioned before, we have six such majors in chemistry, ecology and biodiversity, geology, mathematics, molecular biology and biotechnology, and physics. They are offered alongside the regular 96 credit majors, but they equip you to pursue a career or further studies in science. It's listed separately in your transcript, so after you leave, you will be able to show that you did these extra courses in your major. So there's a slightly different structure for these. You have fewer minor and electives. Uh, there are more courses within the major, more disciplinary courses. They are quality assured through other professional bodies. I mentioned the Royal Society of Biology, the Royal Society of Chemistry, and the Geological Society. So if you are the, in the intensive chemistry major, for example, you are automatically certified uh, to 
apply for RSC membership in the Royal Society of Chemistry. All right. Students who take the intensive geology major are on a fast track to receive their professional qualifications in geology. We also have newly designed some articulation pathways. These are programs that will help you to go to postgraduate programs overseas. In particular, I'll point out this one for veterinary medicine, which is offered jointly with the University of Melbourne. Over seven years, these students will gain a bachelor's degree from the 6901 program, and they can also get a postgraduate degree, such as a DVM, from the University of Melbourne. The whole program can take about seven years. This program, I'm afraid, is very exclusive. It's offered only for a few majors, and we will only be able to accept about five students to this program. We also have some pathways that bring you into top postgraduate programs within the Faculty of Science here at HKU. This will include our Masters of Science Statistics program and the MDASC program as well. This is a master's degree in data science, which is an important field in today's job market. If you have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 at graduation and other admission requirements, you should be able to transition smoothly into these master's degree programs. Finally, this is a master of science in biotechnology at Northeastern University. Students with a GPA of 3.2 or above are yet eligible for direct admission to this program. New to the Faculty of Science is a minor in science entrepreneurship. With this program, we hope to broaden student horizons in entrepreneurship, help them to connect their science knowledge to real life setting and industries. The knowledge exchange between the academy and technology these days is very important and there are many opportunities for students to lead exciting careers uh, as science entrepreneurs and we're hoping to support that with this minor. So by now you may be wondering, how can I join the 6901 program? Well, of course, we have these requirements, the 223333 requirement that you would see at any other talk. Sadly, this is the necessary condition. It may not be enough. So I'd like to tell you a little more. So if you are taking the DSC subjects in science electives, such as biology, chemistry, or physics, or the mathematics, or the extended module in mathematics, we give that some extra weight because we're hoping our science students will be equipped in those ways. And also, we give some extra weight to English language. Overall, though, we're going to be looking at your best five subjects, so long as they're including the ones you see here. The range of our scores for the last intake of students was from 22 to 42.5. So the lowest admitted score was 22. So if you have an estimated score of 30 or 35, we're really happy to hear from you. We'd also like to point out that we offer some extra points for students who get five or five star or five star star in the core elective subjects or the extended mathematics modules. Maybe you are a non-JUPIS student. These cases are usually admitted case by case, but we can tell you that the lowest admitted GCE A-level score is 1A star or 2A. On average, it's 2A star, 1A. The lowest admission score for IB, International Baccalaureate, was 33 with the average score at 37. For students with very high JUPIS scores, we also offer scholarships. So if your score is at least 35, you qualify for a scholarship, but the size of the scholarship increases as your score gets higher. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to know further information, please reach out to us at any of the following places. Thank you so much.